Adventures mm. fans are very passionate. What is the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? Wow, you're really short. Get that really? a lot? Yeah. <laughs> you're much shorter than I thought you were. I'm like, yeah. well, how is that ever, like, okay to say to someone? It's so bizarre. Yeah. Really bizarre. Yes, you're really short. <laughs> uh, I guess it's been recently there's a theory about Ant-Man and what he, he might do. Uh, to Thanos. Oh, um, I don't want it. Oh, it's and too so, gross. So a lot oh. of people, yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot, really gross. It's gross, and a lot, so a lot of people have asked me. It's very um, odd. Yeah, if I do that. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. In the movie. That's as far as we'll go with that. that. Yeah, right. yeah. That. It's probably it's best to. It. Yeah. Have you ever been sent anything weird? Yes, I've been sent crazy things before. I usually have a, I have a good filtration system now where I'm like, just don't send me. <laughs> I'll never open it. Don't send me, send mm -hmm. me anything. Um, but yes, I've gotten all kinds of weird stuff. Although sometimes you get really cool fan art, mm. which is great, where people really put a lot of work into drawings and paintings and like that stuff's yeah. all cool. I did get a really, um, when I was in Korea, someone made me a book that was all cartoon versions of every character I played, but like even like like Girl with a Pearl Earring wow. and like Lost in Translation. And it was, it's really, That's it's cool. super cool. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. And out of all of your Avengers co-stars, who was the one that you're most sort of starstruck or nervous about meeting? There was nobody that was really nervous or starstruck. I was, I th when I think when I met Robert for the first time, I was pretty, uh, pretty taken with the guy. And, you know, I've grown up watching so many of his movies. I mean, grown up with him. I'm a, he started young. So, so many films uh, that he'd seen. And there's a, you know, he has such a larger than life energy about him. Uh, and he's the guy that kind of kicked this whole thing off. So when I when I met him, it was uh, you know I was I was very aware that I was meeting the guy, and, and it was cool. Yeah. What about really? you? Um, I don't know. Although I, I it was kind of a trip to work with back when we did Winter Soldier. Um, we worked with Robert Redford, who I haven't worked with since I was twelve. Mm -hmm and hadn't seen in like over a decade of time. Um, so that was amazing and weird. And I was like, I'm holding a gun to Robert. Nice. <laughs> I was like, well, this is such a weird world. Yeah. Um, but it was really cool to see him again and work with him in this like whole other weird context. Oh. And finally I was like, oh, you're coming to my set now. You know, it was very, very different dynamic, but I, it was it was neat. I must say actually, as soon as I answered, I thought, oh God, of course, Michael Douglas. When I worked with Michael Douglas for the first time and I met him when we were on this, it was uh, overwhelming. What is the secret to your eternal youth? Because I'm sure everyone's been saying you look. He does his own Botox, which is and a lot of fillers. <laughs> uh, I have a. It's a I, I thought You're I was going to say a the time stone. You're going to say the times. Is there a t the time stone? Yeah, the time stone. Sure. That's one of the infinity stones. Well, why not? I lifted it from the set. He just constantly injecting his face, uh, like basically mid interview. Uh, yeah. <laughs>